yes you did read the title of this video correctly the unknown scene now ever since 2018 i felt that there has been a rise in the popularity of underground rap music right and i honestly feel like these niggas be posers they don't really fuck with these artists they just want to listen to these artists so that they could say that they knew them before they blew up and i'm not gonna lie i was one of them but now that so many people are doing it it doesn't even feel special doing it no more so i want to dig a little deeper i want to dig to artists who aren't known yet i want to dig to artists that aren't even underground yet these artists are practically unknown and honestly these guys are kind of better than these known artists so i'm gonna put you guys on because i don't like to gatekeep music like these bum ass niggas do first artist on my list lux is dead this dude i found out about him about a couple months ago and honestly i haven't heard a bad song from him not to say that he's like the greatest artist, but he is really unique, especially in this plug and B shit, where everyone tries to sound like Shine and everyone tries to sound like Summers. Lux has his own little unique twist to it. It's not the greatest thing you'll ever hear, but honestly, it fits him well. His style is fire, and you know what I'm saying? He's in his own lane type shit, and I fuck with it. If you want to listen to some of Lux's music, I recommend his most recent project, Immortalies. My favorite song from that project had to be 105. There is no misses in that EP, bro. Y'all should go fuck with it. The next artist on my list is Lil Gohan. Now, Lil Gohan mainly does plug, and he also does plug and B. Gohan, I think he's one of the most unique artists out here, and he's really skillful. I love his melodies, and I love the way he uses them. Again, he's another plug and B artist that doesn't try to sound like Summers, so I really fuck with him. I don't really have much to say about him. I just, all I could really say is listen to Dragon Rush 2 and you'll kind of understand why I put him on this list. Now the third artist on my list is Steezy Kai. I fuck with Steezy Kai. I think right now he's kind of like my favorite artist on this list just because he really gives me like those melodic flows and like, I don't know, like his his beat selection and the way he uses his melodies it reminds me of like 2018 like when i first listened to plug when i first started listening to plug so like it was really nostalgic for me and i, I just fuck with it you know what i'm saying not everything has to be super violent or shit and steezy kai has like his own he, he's also in his own lane you know what i'm saying he mainly does plug i, f I really fuck with it though if you really want to listen to steezy kai's music i recommend you listen to good weather that's my favorite project you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying white he got that song white boy black boy swag that shit is hard i should go fuck with that now the fourth artist on my list and he's kind of known but practically unknown is lil paypal lil paypal he collabed with summers he collabed with a lot of big artists in the plug scene but for some reason he still sits around 3,000 followers on soundcloud and about 2,000 on ig and I feel like the main reason why people don't fuck with PayPal is because his style is so unorthodox that the first time you listen to it, you kind of just want to turn that shit off and leave it on mute. But honestly, like if you listen to PayPal like consistently, you'll kind of understand his, his flow and you'll kind of understand why he raps like that. And, and you'll see that it fits really good. If you want to listen to more PayPal, I recommend PayPal World. Now that's a really good project if you want to start listening to PayPal because like I said, his style is very unorthodox and in that EP, there's really no misses. So y'all should fuck with that one if y'all want to start listening to more PayPal. And now the last artist on my list. Now he is not last because he's least. That is a dub. This is probably the most interesting artist on this list. His name is Keen Lari. Kind Lari, I don't know how to fucking say his name. I don't even know what gender this motherfucker is. All I know is that this nigga makes good music. This nigga is tough. Like I said, one of the most interesting artists on this list. One of the most interesting and most unique plug and B flows I've heard so far. 
Now, this guy is another artist who has a very unique flow that at first listen, you probably won't understand it. But I promise you, if you keep listening to more of his music, bro, you will start levitating. His music is so underrated and he collabs with a lot of underground artists. I think he deserves more love. I think out of this whole um, list I made, this guy probably has the most potential to go up because his music is just that good. If you want to listen to more, I can't pronounce his name, Kyle Lari, whatever the fuck you call him. I, I definitely recommend this playlist, Broken. My favorite song on that playlist has to be Dirty Dan that he made with Yapo JJ. That shit is hard. And you know what I'm saying? That's all for the video. I probably will make a part two. You guys should let me know who should I add to this list. I know there's more unknown rappers that deserve love and that deserve more attention. And this is the whole point of this video, whole point of this channel. Now, if you guys have any artists, even if you want to recommend yourself, go ahead, do that. Hit me up on IG and I'll holler at you in the next video.